Well, we loved her, faults and all. She was our daughter and our baby. She could help anybody out with anything, she would. And that was Sasha. The grief of a family whose teenage daughter was cruelly and brutally taken from them. Sasha Marsden was 16 years old and studying childcare, but her plan to earn extra money as a cleaner in a Blackpool hotel ultimately cost her her life. Her body was found wrapped in carpet and bin liners and partially burned in an alleyway in January. David Minto, a 23-year-old barman at a hotel owned by his girlfriend and her mother, contacted Sasha on Facebook and used the promise of work to lure her to her death. CCTV images show him meeting the teenager and taking her to the hotel. There, he sexually assaulted her, stabbing her 58 times with a kitchen knife, mainly in her face and neck. The force of the blows so powerful, the blade was bent. He further defiled her as she lay dying or dead, then dumped her in the alleyway and tried to destroy the evidence. The horrors inflicted on Sasha's young body caused damage so severe she could only be identified by DNA from her toothbrush. For his sexual gratification, he's robbed us, saying goodbye to our daughter, robbed us her 18th, 21st, a future, and any chance of, he just robbed us of everything. Could never forgive him, ever. As Sasha's family mourned their loss with a vigil, Minto was already concocting a series of lies to cover his tracks. I found him as a really cold-hearted, callous, evil individual who quite obviously just thinks of himself before anybody else. And I will go so far as to say that his Facebook title of David Demon Minto sort of reflects truly his, his own character. Minto's defence was that he had consensual sex with the teenager and she left the hotel alive. He explained the fact he had her blood on his clothes by saying she'd had a nosebleed. The jury refused to believe him. Lancashire police say they hope the fact that Minto will spend at least 35 years behind bars will provide Sasha's devastated family with some crumb of comfort.